Well, it is still winter here, as you can see. We've had some really cold days. We've had some not so bad days, but snow has come and melted and come and melted and back and forth we've gone. So after settling down to a cup of tea every morning is when I like to start sewing. Today I'm going to be sewing this mail order pattern. It's my first mail order pattern. And this one is from the work basket. And you can see the original request for this pattern with her size and address. This is really cool and was a surprise when I received this in the mail from Etsy. I did look up this company and I couldn't really find anything about it, unfortunately. If you know anything about it, please leave a comment. I really would like to know anything about the work basket, what happened to this company, um, how long it lasted, etc. Here's the dress I'll be making. It's an 18 and a half, so I'm going to have to size it up a bit. Uh, so let's just take a look at the pattern here first. You can see it's a condensed version compared to a regular pattern, but really you have all the information necessary. So here we've got some basic information about how to sew, how to lay out your fabric, so if you're totally new to sewing, you you would have some basic information to start with. I thought that's kind of cool and unique. And then we have, of course, how to lay out your fabric so that you're not wasting any. And then on this side are the instructions to sewing it. So I'm gonna go through it step by step and um, beginning at the top, we have the sizes, we have um, the pattern pieces that you need, and more layout options are up here. And then the bottom half is all the steps to actually making the dress. This right here just says, important 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance, check all cutting instructions before assembling garment. This is a different kind of style, stitching the sleeves on. It's quite different than anything I've done before. Uh, it also has a belt you can make and a little bow you can attach. So I think it's going to be a really lovely dress when all said and done. Okay, so of course the first thing I need to do is uh, iron all of the pattern pieces. They were already cut out and they already had extra seam allowance which is great because again I needed to upsize this pattern so um, what I didn't film on camera was I did do a mock-up just of the bodice portion because I wanted to make sure that the waistline would fit with the um, extra paper that's still attached beyond the normal cutting line you can see here and yeah, it was great. It, it worked perfect, so I might have just gotten lucky on that. That's why I, I did a mock-up of the bodice. Okay, so then I went ahead and um, followed the directions that I'm showing you right here to lay out my fabric. And I also cut the lining pieces. Or, excuse me, the interfacing pieces. And I've got just kind of my ordinary clothes on here. <laughs> um... It's hard to move on the floor well if you're not wearing pants. But I did make the top that I'm wearing. I just didn't make the sweater or the blue jeans. So here's the layout complete. That ruler represents the bias and the tape measure represented the belt. After laying it out, I go ahead and pin it all down now I've got a skirt on that I, I did sew this skirt. I don't have a tutorial on it, but it was one of the first things I ever made, and I love it. It has kittens all over it. These are actually the sleeves that I'm pinning, and then the, the, fa the inner, um, sorry, the facing for the sleeves. So the sleeves have facing, the neck has facing. And of course then, it's time to cut everything out. Okay. 
All right, so let's look at the directions here. Step one, I've got to make the darts in the bodice front and at the shoulder. And then I'm going to seam them together, the sleeve to the front. And then I've got to do the darts in the back and seam the sleeve to the back. So let's go ahead and jump into transferring all the markings as well as drawing in those darts. I love this large ruler. Actually, I had one before this and I lost it and it's so important to my work that I had to buy another one. <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, how to be without a ruler and I love the transparency because I can really line up the lines in the middle with things and that's gonna help me get that perfectly straight line so this is a wonderful tool to have in your sewing arsenal and I'm using a, a chalk pen today or chalk pencil and of course I wanted to label everything And now I've moved on to the back portion. The fabric I'm using is cotton. It's a nice sturdy cotton. I love cotton. Cotton might be my favorite now. I think I prefer wovens to knits just because it feels good when you wear it. And I don't know if green is my color for 2024, but I seem to be more drawn to green. The last dress I did was green. And then this dress I'm doing in green as well. So we'll see if I keep using a lot of green this year. What color do you seem to have a lot um, of in your wardrobe? All right, now we're ready to sew in the darts. Of course, you have to start by pinning them together. It takes a few minutes, but it will help you really get the fabric in the right position. So when you take it to the machine, you can take those pins out and stitch right down. Darts make your um, clothes fit well. Okay, so of course I've got to try some extra scrap fabric to make sure the tension is correct on my machine. I don't always show, I don't always show that, but it's really important. Now I'm ready to go ahead and stitch the darts with my machine and I need to do that in several places on the front bodice on the back bodice and on the sleeves they also have darts so let me kind of show you step by step here the back and the shoulder darts are done or excuse me this is the front and the shoulder darts Now I'm going to go ahead and press them and I have seamed together already the sleeve to the front bodice so I'm going to press the open the sleeve okay and then I've got the back darts done so now I'm ready to attach it yay it's all attached okay so let's look at the instructions here we're ready to move on to the facing, the sleeve facings and the neck facing. And I've got my inner facing on here and I have stitched them together and pressed down the seams or pressed flat the seams. So let's go ahead and based on the inner facing to the sleeve. Now here's a confusing part. Maybe someone here knows more than me, which I'm sure several of you do. <laughs> Why would they tell you to use bias strips and a facing? Because in the modern sewing world, it's one or the other. 
but this actually calls for both, which confused the heck out of me, and I ended up only using facings. But I really want to know, if you know that, why in the world would you use bias and a facing in the same place when usually it's one or the other to move on to attaching the front to the back? Now, part of it you're going to leave open because you're going to insert a zipper on the left side. So let's do that. And also I've got to attach the facings to the neck and to all of the sleeves. As we finish up the bodice portion and see um, how it looks and then of course do another fitting to see if anything is in the wrong place. But I think the bodice is pretty much ready to go. I think it's going to be really pretty and really comfortable to wear. Okay, let's move on. Step 6 says, seam side front to front skirt matching notches 8. Press seams towards center front. Make pleats at waistline from the outside by folding large dots and broken lines to small dots and solid lines, based. Alright, now we have everything marked and everything pinned and we're ready to go to the machine. And the lighting I'm sorry. The lighting was different on different days. Sometimes we have sunshine in winter and sometimes we don't. So the greens don't always match because depending on the sunlight that I have. Now if you look closely here you can see <laughs> the inside of the garment. So actually right here I'm stitching the pleats on the wrong side. I had to unpick them and go back and do it. So yeah, I stitched them so well and then I had to go unpick them and fix it. But everything was able to be fixed and this is what we have. Step 7 says, make dart and side back skirt, seam to back matching notches 9, stitch side seams of skirt matching notches 10, leave left side seam open above large dot, press seams open, seam skirt to bodice matching notches 11 and 12, side seams and centers. And then the last step that I'm going to be doing is to attach the zipper. I was going to make the bow and the belt but I didn't end up doing that um, because of lack of time. So here I have um, all the markings, I have all the stitching done so they're ready to be put together. And then um, after attaching them to the bodice I inserted the zipper and stitched it on. And then I cut this beautiful snow And this is the dress on me. It is by no means perfect and I definitely want to revisit this pattern but I'm, I'm happy with the end results. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time.